for years. Um, what are you a doctor of? So my PhD is in Near Eastern Languages and Literatures from New York University. So I focused on the ancient Semitics, Hebrew language, and the Semitic languages related to that. That was, that was my main focus. Okay, so uh, biblical Hebrew, was that in there? B yeah, yeah, biblical, biblical Hebrew, Hebrew, then, of course, you know, all, all phases of it. So rabbinic Hebrew and, and uh, medieval literature, you know, we looked at, although that, that comes in later. And then, of course, Aramaic and its various forms, the ancient Aramaic, biblical Aramaic, Syriac, and the Ju Jewish Aramaic forms, classical Arabic, and then Akkadian, which is Babylonian and Assyrian, and some of the other related languages and dialects, Ugaritic and Phoenician, Punic, those things. So... Mm -hmm. Related languages, but that that was the field and a few others I had to touch on just a little Ethiopic and old South Arabian, but I didn't I didn't really study those much mm -hmm. now Should have probably saved this for later, but since we're talking about uh, languages here in biblical Hebrew What did you do when you read Song of Solomon chapter 5 verse 16 and saw Muhammad mentioned by name in the verse? <laughs> okay, so I will avoid uh, my sarcastic response, which is uh, coming out of my pores as you're asked the question. I, I mean, it's it's like saying that David Wood was was mentioned in the Bible because the word wood uh, occurred, and then elsewhere you had David. And so, how how else could you could you possibly explain it? I mean, the the, the fact is, the name Muhammad is a Semitic name, and it, and many names come from related nouns and things like that. I mean, I'm, I'm in the Bible. Michael's in the Bible. Michael, who is like God. It, it's uh, honestly, having read the Hebrew Bible for decades. The idea that this was a secret reference to Muhammad was so far-fetched that when I first heard it, I, I thought it was a joke, honestly. 